So Mario Kart 9 just got announced last week, kind of, I guess. But regardless, people have been at war on Twitter over where the franchise will go with this so-called new twist, which some speculate to be the inclusion of more Nintendo characters as playable racers. And for me personally, it's less about that and more about the fact that this game just even exists because, well, you know. Now, do I want a so-called Nintendo Kart as Mario Kart 9? For me, I think the concept of Nintendo Kart sounds cool, but I feel like it would work best if you only added a select few to the roster. This isn't Smash Bros where it's more advertised as a crossover of Nintendo icons. This is Mario Kart, and I feel like you gotta keep the essence of Mario Kart still. MK8 had Link, Animal Crossing, and Splatoon, and these were all cool additions, but I don't know how much more should be added before it becomes overshadowing to the actual Mario cast. I think if I had to narrow it down, Kirby, Samus, Pikachu, and Falcon would be the characters to add and then leave it at that. Because honestly, adding new Mario Kart characters isn't nearly as impactful as adding them into Smash anyways. In Smash, you get the character in full, and they function in unique ways based on their source material. Their inclusion becomes a true celebration of their history. In Mario Kart, it's fun to see new racers, but at the end of the day, it's just a new character model with an assigned weight value. It's cool, but it's not anything that major in my opinion. I think where new racers have the most potential is in the new tracks that they can add. It would be genuinely sick to race around Dreamland or on a Metroid-themed course. You could also add new character-themed carts as well, so there is some potential for individual flavor with these non-Mario characters. But I don't think that they need to convert the roster into a full-blown Nintendo cart to make a cool game. If anything, Falcon is the one who needs to be added. It's straight disrespect to add anyone over this man, who not only had his own racing franchise killed by Nintendo already, but he literally had a hand in Mario Kart 8 without actually being playable. That's just doing my man Captain Falcon dirty, and he needs a platform where he can race once more. So, at the very least, they need to add Captain Falcon. Alright, that's a necessity. Overall, I'm just excited to be getting another Mario Kart that isn't a mobile game. And honestly, the only measure of judgment I will have for this game is if they bring back all of Shy Guy's alternate colors. If they do, it's a 10 out of 10 game. If they don't, it's a 0 out of 10 game. Plain and simple. They could make the entire roster of Ultimate playable, but if there's no Shy Guy alts, then it's a 0 out of 10 game. And you may think this is a joke, but I'm being dead fucking serious. I better get to race as Orange Shy Guy, or I will personally be booking a flight to Japan, rolling up to Nintendo HQ, and burning it to the fucking ground!